Our South African road trip took us from Cape Town to Pafiri in the Makuleke Concession, the most northern part of the Kruger National Park. In part five, we make our way back south and enjoy camping along the Olifant River at Belule Satellite Camp. So we left Pafiri this morning, very sad, but we are now on our way to Belule, which is the satellite camp of Olifants. Olifants doesn't have a campsite. Neither, neither of us have ever stayed there um, and hopefully we can get a, a campsite quite next to the fence. Um, I was very, very excited to obviously experience the, the river close up. We should be arriving at Belule, what, 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock. Yeah, around 3 o'clock. Hopefully we see some cool stuff on the way. I'm not quite sure what happened here. but. Um, only surmise that the car rolled or that the, um, it was attacked by an heli. started raining, trying to get all the ice in and <laughs> make it down to Brule to set up camp. Sleeping in the car tonight, just till it comes first. Yeah. We have no idea what the situation is at the campsite. Yeah. But um, yeah. Hopefully we can set up camp. Some very wet impala. the rain stopped and we could set up camp everything's a bit wet <laughs> but we're doing well First time here. As you can hear, I'm still like very excited. We've just heard a leopard ride at the fence. I haven't seen him yet. Heard a hyena. We've smelt the eddies. We've seen our little bee eater, and that's all within two hours. We haven't even set up camp properly yet. <laughs> Hello. Sorry that other people have fed you, pal. Yeah, you're not going to get anything from us, I'm afraid. Unfortunately.
around the camp that there is a lion kill so we're on our way now apparently um, it's a giraffe so it should be interesting yeah. Belulia is a wonderful campsite last night we arrived in the rain um, but it kind of died down luckily and we were able to set up camp and yeah I had a wonderful night beautiful sunrise this morning and now some action action attraction <laughs> Not a good day for this young giraffe. It's actually unheard of in the Kruger. Usually you share these sightings with about 10 other cars. The smell is horrendous. So horrendous. I'm not going to open my window because <laughs> <so, laughs> I'm right next to it here. Yeah? But there you can see a bit of it there. Everywhere you look, there's like little groups of animals doing things. There's some Ellie's drinking, there's some hip hops playing. There's birds sitting in the water, there's birds flying above. There's probably so much more that we don't even know. I mean, there's probably a lip right here. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> the hippos are wonderful, the sounds they're making. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> on cue <laughs> on cue thank you very much Mr. Hip <laughs>
most amazing things you can get from the Woody Fun Shop. And the Mapani Shop for that matter. All these vegetable skewers. Yeah, they're the best. Fresh and delicious. <laughs> We're at the Timbavati picnic spot and we're gonna have a nice quick breakfast but before we got here <laughs> less than a care away just a couple of lionesses having their breakfast In the background, those <laughs> trees is the camping the picnic the pic spot that we were just at, which we, where we just made coffee. Guess who's just come from there? <laughs> the alarm calls that were all made. I can't believe we got this. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he's so cool. He must have a kill or something because the vultures were swooping around there. So he's very far away, but we found our white lion. Mm -hmm. He's sitting with his friends on a wildebeest carcass. You seem to flop. Yeah, <laughs> I got that.
So we're heading north of the Hulifans turning to go and find the four stationary wild dog. Hopefully they're still stationary and hopefully we can see them. Yeah, we missed them this morning. They were right by Olifan's camp. And then we missed them again. <laughs> but we had great lion sightings today, so yes. we're not complaining. Both sides. Aww. Awesome. We just stopped at a viewpoint and we spotted a bush walk. It looks like they're hiding behind this bush because you can see that there's a hippo there. I think I think we've just seen the end of it. Yeah. I think they had a little run-in with the hippo. Do you think? Yeah. And now they're hiding behind the bushes. That's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're walking off now. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yo guys So we're at Olivan's camp, um, ran out of camera battery and Balule doesn't have power, which we knew, but um, so we've decided to come and make our cooked breakfast that we were going to do at Balule at Olivan's. So we're in the little camp kitchen, did some washing up and busy making some coffee. And we've got the camera battery on charge as we speak. This morning, obviously, we saw a leopard and didn't have any camera batteries to record it. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> With no fuel and a puncture. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> so, today's our last full day in the bush. So we're going to make a, a nice, quick, cooked breakfast. And then we're going to hit the road and go and see if we can see any cool stuff. Should be good. It's the first time this holiday, some back hunts, cooked by moi. <laughs> and um, next up we've got some eggs, some uh, mushrooms, a little got bit a of chocolate. There's a whole little thing happening here. Yeah, just uh, topping up some fresh coffee in the bush. Compliments of Deluxe Cape Town. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see him from here, but he's literally chasing. Yeah, I saw him running in the background. Yeah, you know, he's chasing the cattle egrets. <laughs> so, this is our campsite. <laughs> we just got back from a drive. There were about a hundred elephants along the bank of the river, and now they are all basically in our campsite. It's amazing. One of our favourite things about Balulia campsite is the low bridge, a few minutes drive from the gate. We spent a lot of time sitting in Jimothy, parked on the bridge, just enjoying the variety of wildlife that the river attracts. Well, we're busy dishing up, I don't know. So we're leaving Balule this morning. Today we are on our way to Marakele. Guys, don't speed in the bush. That's a little spring here. And that's the first one that we've ever seen. Unfortunately, it's roadkill. Next time on Jimothy and Friends. We leave the Kruger and make our way to Marakele National Park. 
we have some fun on a 4x4 road, and we enjoy a relaxing weekend in Bondley campsite with some friends before heading back to the Western Cape.